Hi buddy, welcome back to Terra Firma Craft Season 4, episode 127. Uh, it has been pointed out that I often say welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. Um, that is because I am from Yorkshire, uh, and there is an implied t in there. Welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. Um, but because I speak quite fast, it comes out as welcome back to Terra Firma Craft. Or even faster. Um, so I am actually saying two, even though you don't hear it. <laughs> um, I'm sticking to that excuse. So, what am I, what are we up to? Uh, well, we obviously we set things going for the rich Lemonite to be coming back from the quarry. Uh, which it is, it's there. There's little bits of it coming back right now. There's a few bits of small Lemonite, which, uh, we can, we can actually do something with. There's some, some barrel, some jet, leather, and a little bit of rougher shard as well over there. Uh, and some shale rock, apparently. Why, why, why did that not go in? Don't know. Um, then we've got diorite and gabbro there. Don't know why some of these don't go into the respective, uh, holes, but, um, diorite would go there. And gabbro would go there. All right, that's good. Uh, and then, of course, we've got a whole host of these gems, so they need to be put away. So I just need to tidy this lot up a little because at the moment it's a mess. And uh, we we have a huge amount of this suet, which we can use um, to make candles. Uh, do I ever need to make that many candles? I do not know. There's a little bit of me going, don't throw it away. You know the moment you throw it away, you will want it. And there's a little bit going, I don't think I'll ever want that much tallow. Um, well, let me just sort this out. I'll be back with you in a second. All right, we've got that done. Um, so first things first, uh, I just want to process this little bit of Lemonite into yellow dye. Um, and there was a comment um, on a, one of my older videos about, and it was about the wire drawing machine saying it's a really, really irritating mechanism. And I agree that it is a, oh, hang on. I agree that it is an annoying mechanism, but of course TFC is, is not meant to be. Oh man. There's a lot of them. Don't want them burning my orchard down. Um, yeah, I agree with you that, it, that with anybody that it is a, a very annoying mechanism. Ah, there you go. Oh. Um, but as I say, TFC is designed to be, I won't say it's designed to be absolutely realistic because I think even uh, the designers would say that it was not designed to be absolutely realistic, but it is designed to be. Hi, how are you doing down here? Haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> uh, so much quieter up there. But the the practical upshot of it is, of course, is that um, it is a bit more annoying. Um, I think that's a fair way of describing it. So the if you actually Google go and go Google um, medieval wire drawing, just go and do it now, and uh, I'll I'll wait until you come back. Done? Yeah? Yeah? Okay, so you'll see the actual that the machine that we have down there is actually not a million miles from what they actually used. And if that's annoying, then surely this is annoying. I mean, that's to make lemonite powder. Now I can make that in with some lime water. Had I got some lime water, I don't know if I have any lime water actually. What have we got in there? Lime water. I can make some yellow paint with that, and that will be then upped, and we can use the yellow paint to make glowstone, and everybody will be happy. Wonderful. Um, so yeah, this this machine over here, the uh, wire drawing machine, is actually a reasonable facsimile of what a, a wire drawing machine would have looked like. Now. I'm not going to go into the thing of how much wire you got off an ingot because if you actually look at the drawings, they'll they'll have the wire will be drawn through um, and as they're drawing it through, they'll be getting weird rounding onto onto a, a reel, so they maybe get you know four or five meters of wire off of the draw. 
So, yeah, I mean, it's, the quantity is potentially an issue, but the actual technology isn't. Now, the, the sound, I'm not going to argue with you, that is, that is god-awful. Um, so, yeah. <clears throat> anyway, we're not getting a huge amount of Lemonite coming out of that mine yet, uh, or that quarry. But, that doesn't stop me from having a plan. I have a plan, and the plan involves making something out of immersive engineering. It involves making that bugger. The Crusher. I want to automatically take ores that we pass through the system or have a, a different end that will take this end of chest, move it further back into the system or have a system which will then pass the ores through into a crusher. The possibility then of bringing the ores out into different chests and doing other things with them and then finally anything that's left over will come into here. Yeah, you see. However, this is going to take quite a bit of stuff. We're going to need nine hoppers, we're going to need eight steel fences, we're going to need eleven light engineering blocks, and we're going to need ten steel scaffolding. The steel, ironically, is the easier of the two to get. Um, we have got uh, just a little bit over 32, 43 iron ingots. Uh, we've got six iron ingots there, but we have got 26 pig iron ingots there. We've got a whole load more pig iron ingots here, and we've got a whole load more pig iron ingots over in the spawner. And we also got this blue steel, which we can put away as well. That's nice. Oh, we've got some uh, more coal. Excellent. Let me just go and uh, put that away. Now, whether we actually get the the thing built today uh, I don't know but we're going to make a, a start on this so what have we got there come on give me some 19 that's a they go 32 of them pig iron and make me some steel <sighs> it's going to take a while High carbon steel. So they need to go through again. In the meantime, I'm going to go and grab another stack of those. And I'm just going to do a uh, sapling patrol, I think, around the area. Because you never know. One of those one of those sneaky saplings might have cropped up again. And while we're at it, we'll, uh, we'll do a little bit of, of lighthouse keeping. A little bit of that. A little bit of that. And one more. Bang. A little bit of that. And Oh, and then vinegar. We need some vinegar. We're probably going to need to make more vinegar, actually. I think we're getting very low. Yeah, not too bad. Uh -huh. But got to keep the cheese going. As I say, I love my cheese. I, I am not I'm not giving up my cheese for no one. That would be, I think, the worst thing that could happen to me if um, if veganism was ever enforced legally. <laughs> you know, illegal, legal, legally enforced veganism. That would be bad. But, um, yeah, I think I would miss cheese more than anything. Um, even more than meat, actually. Mm, you know, I can I can make a salad and, and not use a great deal, or or, or indeed any meat. But uh, I really would suffer making it out, uh, making a salad and not using. Oh dear! There we go. Uh, what we got there? Wrought iron. We'll take those. Actually, what we should do. Hmm. We'll just take those. For now, and we'll leave those to it. I'm not even going to bother killing them. That's more effort than it's worth. Um, so yeah, let me uh, get some steel done, and uh, I'll see you again in a little while. Okay, there's also <laughs> just looking at this over here. I've got so many things I want to do. There's also oil as an option. Um, we could definitely, definitely get on going with oil power. Uh, refined oil, you know, fuel. I think from Buildcraft that would be feasible. I'm uh, I'm coming just on my se uh, second stack that I've almost processed. I've also dug up uh, up this, so that's done, and uh, uh, that's pretty much it really. I'm just now looking at things, going, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Um, feel a bit like a bored child on a on a school holiday. Um, so many things I want to do, and none of them happening. Um, yeah, so if we look at the pump, for example, the pump is expensive, it's a blue steel bucket, which, um, yeah, a couple of tanks, they're cheap, they're cheap, uh, and something just came in that way, I don't know what that was, that was, that was uh, an alert, 
Uh, certainly wasn't eBay. Because <laughs> uh, that goes ka-ching whenever I sell anything on eBay. But uh, there you go. Anyway, um, so we have got about that. There is um, the pump jack from Magneti Craft, which I've got no idea. Extracts oils from oil deposits. Requires electricity to operate. Use oil prospector to find deposits. So there's more. Oil prospector. Geothermal pump. I uh, Pumps lava and uses it to generate heat will mine blocks on its way to lava. Well, there is no lava, so that's going to be particularly uh, epic and fail-like. Okay, there's 32 of those. Let's get the next batch in. So, we can make a steel, a, uh, a blue steel bucket. That's not a problem. Uh, we have the technology. Steel sheet. Uh, two of those with a bit of... Um, Flux will we'll do that trick. Uh, this quarry is really not hitting that that stuff yet, that's for certain. Oh, we got that. Oh, we need to make two sheets, don't we? I don't want to make two sheets, I only want to make one sheet. Can I not make just one sheet? Please? Ah, uh, uh, so unfair. Um, oh, we'll make the sheets, I can always smelt it back. Um, but there you go so we'll do that one and then we'll do that and then we can get the uh, sheet going we can get the bucket now we could at least get this started uh, except of course we need a steel gear as well we need a little fair bit to do this as well um, it's not going to be simples Hmm, yeah. Anyway, we've got, we got our sheet, so at least I can make the bucket. Um, it's getting on to night time, so we should probably have a little snooze. <laughs> uh, and I am going to continue on making this, um, all the steel for all these lovely things. Back in a bit. Why didn't you tell me it was bismuth? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Try again, shall we? All right. Well, we've got the first job to do. Um, those blue steel sheets have heated up. Let's make a bucket. Okay. No. Almost. Gotcha. One blue steel bucket. However, we got two. So let's make two steel blue steel buckets because undoubtedly something else from this mod will want a blue steel bucket. So we can pander to it, can't we? Nope, too far. Oh no! Hmm. We'll get there eventually. It takes. I wasn't really paying that much attention to what I was doing. I'll be uh, very honest there. So that's those done, uh, and we can place one of those up. Can we? No, we can't. Okay, fine. Uh, however, we can place one now. I've had a clean up of Trunky. I've got rid of all the TNT elements, uh, but I'm still snided out with crap. Leave that. Take that. Pop one of those in. I'll keep it on me. It's not taking other things, but that and then that's a, a crafting item. So we'll pop this over here in this. Now again, still not, we've got a little bit more small lemonite coming out, that's um, more dye. Um, but over here in the uh, in the workroom, which has got loads of space for things, I have made my sleeve mold. So we need uh, to use, we need to make a brass sleeve mold, and I think it's a brass sleeve, let's just check. Brass and steel. So we need four steel and one brass. <laughs> brass, thank you, and steel. 
one, two, three, four. Perfect. So we can go and get those underway. I can check these. These are still doing their thing. High carbon. So that will do. And then we just got this lot to smelt down and make into the gear. And that gives us another part of the uh, the pump. Um, which we will need to do over here. But we're not shy of charcoal now. So uh, that is always a plus. Thanking you, bang, and yeah. So I suppose the first one we want to melt is the brass, and we are going to want uh, wherever I put them, some of those in a moment. Right, well that's that to do. So I will see you in a few moments. All right, I'm getting the cogs done again, and again, you know, we, you could argue that this is a very painful an unnecessarily complicated process and if this were any other mod then well other than maybe great tech uh, I would agree uh, but uh, oh, little happy pumpkins I never knew we had happy pumpkins but we're not dealing with great tech we're dealing with TFC and this is the beast that we have to go through to make a cog um, you can't even cheat it through with a stamping machine up there's no there's no option that is not a thing so we're going to get those and that those are going to go together into making that and then we need to heat up right now this is the bit that's going to be a little bit more tricky we're going to need to heat this up and get this up to welding temperature with that but this is going to be at a much higher temperature than that one so we're going to need to kind of keep pop it in and out until it's there um, so I'm going to keep my eye on this one and uh, I'll leave those in there as well that gives us emergency cover should it actually melt the this but uh, I'll be back again in a mo. all right and uh, we're about there I'm just uh, I was juggling this thing uh, that's ready. That's almost ready. I just want to get back to danger and, uh, and then we can pop it out But I wanted to make a coffee at the same time and you can't leave a brass piece of brass in the forge when you're making coffee It will it will destroy itself uh, Bang bang weld done uh, Yeah, okay, so we have got our gear We've uh, Need to get our sleeping bag and our uh, thingy that we're going to well back there we've got the the blue steel bucket which is through here let me just put yep yeah, that's there oh, we've got now flawless jasper some more more stuff but not what we're after still we're still after this stuff uh we've got that so we've got we got that and that which is the expensive bit we need to make two tanks which needs some glass panes okay and iron now this is where again we're, we're getting screwed over because we need three four five six seven eight so we're having to use our precious iron for this and what we actually want is um well four more iron and a redstone And a redstone. What we want is we actually want to get more iron, not use more iron. So, yeah, we're getting a little bit stuffed over right now with this thing. But um, that should be everything. So it should be that with that and that. That was iron, wasn't it? Not steel. Damn it. It's a shame. If that would have been steel, I would have been laughing all the way. I would have been like, yep, yeah, that's easy. But we have a Billcraft pump. That's our first accomplishment now uh, okay we probably need to sleep the night off because it's it's getting dark out there and then we need to figure out how the hell we're going to get out and put this over the um, over the thing I also really do want to get respiration on this too many things I want to do always with the too many things that I want to do steel perfect 
What we're shy on though is iron. So there's a couple of things I'm a little bit concerned about. One is, where the hell's all the iron? <laughs> because I'm sure there should be more than those few things of limonite. So we may have to go and investigate that. Uh, and may have to resituate the quarry. The, the other question... Hello, Mr. Zombot. Wow. It's like a, a centaur spider. Uh, so a normal spider is 1800. Okay, I thought there was more than that. Uh, all right, what we got over here? Is bound to, oh, did I did I leave a little XP orb? I did. Let's just go and see what we've got. We're running around up, up in the world. Oh, good, Mr. Creeper. How are you doing? Um, let's just go and see what is involved with getting Respiration 3 on this helmet. Because I can't remember. I know I, I did. I did check it and I've uh, since forgot. Oh, more pig iron. Cool. Because um, that will be pretty handy in, in diving and getting um, an oil platform built. Now, I know we can float the oil platform in the air and, and, and that, you know, no one would bat an eyelid. But I would. Because I'm me. Uh, okay. Did I hang Oh, uh, no. I know what I have. We, we've got that. No, not that. That, haven't we? That's where we got to. Respiration 3. Um. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Um, I still don't know what the answer to this is because I'm recording so far ahead of myself. Hmm... I don't know why that didn't work. Why this is not working? It's it's bizarre. Okay, well we'll forget that for now then, because that ain't happening anyway. Uh, until at least we've had some feedback. In fact, let me just go. Let me just go and do something. Uh, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, welcome to my test world. This is where I bounce ideas around. It's not. It's not like oh, hello. You're witty, are you? Peg of the librarian. Okay. Um, now, you can't do this without XP, unfortunately. So, um, we have to... 37, we're not far off now. We have to up our experience. I think we can actually lose a command, isn't we? Um, is there... Yeah. Slash XP. Let's give uh, 100,000 to me. Wow. What did that do just do? Let me just check. I keep on forgetting. Oh, I've got 500 and... Yeah, I've got enough levels. Um, okay. Uh, and then we do that. We place it in there. And we... What, what do we do? Uh, do we need a... Huh. Yeah, indeed. How do you bloody work this? Select book. There we, no, that's not what I wanted. Select a book. Respiration 3, 40 levels, bang. Am I missing something here? This, am I just being completely obtuse? I missed it. I'm doing something wrong. I know I am. Oh, let's just try this. <laughs> oh, God. No, 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 no. Go away. Select book. Uh, you know what? I'll be back in a moment. All right, apparently, you shift, click the book with an empty hand. Bang. And look. Inking, doing, working, working, do to do, working, working, working. It is work. Working, working. So, that's the question. Okay. Let me just change my mode back into game mode S. 
let me exit, uh, let me come out of here, no, game mode C, just so when I come back in I don't get eaten, because uh, he looks dubious. Let's go back into our main world. Uh, now, I am at somewhat of a loss. So I think what we will do is we will, uh, we will, huh, we'll get game mode C. Because I, I really don't know what else to do with this. I'm going to get a respiration three book and get rid of the plate. I'm going to place you in there. We are going to gain uh, one more chase just because I know I've, I've accidentally used some, but uh, we should have somewhere about our monocle. which we can now see we need 40 levels so let's go XP 40 and now I had 20 so that should be if I now go and change ourselves back into this we should have no uh, oh no hang on um, it's XP help Slash XP. Uh, amount L. There we go. So if I go XP 40L, that takes me to there. I'll, I'll create it all in a moment because uh, I think I've probably gone too much. But we're going to shift and click. There's our plate. I'm going to place it in the book. I mean, what do you do? I really don't know what else to do with this. You know, that works in one world, not in the other. I I am baffled. Oh, I, I should, I've kind of got one level too many there, but we'll, uh, we'll live with that. It wouldn't take me five seconds to get it. I, I really, really am stumped as to what to do with that. So... <laughs> Uh, yeah anyway let me know what you think <laughs> back in a bit all right so in the first instance i want to get some oil going um i'm still waiting for the iron to catch up until we've got iron we really can't do a great deal however i need some smooth basalt it's like smooth rock you know as in smooth fm uh <laughs> but um but basalty rather than rocky um and obviously over here is where I have been smooth, smooth basalt, uh, grabbing my my smooth basalt from. Um, and we can we can probably do something like that just to get rid of this particular. A uh, little bit of irritation, and then we can get chunk out, grab our nice shiny blue steel, and we are going to make uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Actually, let's make lots because I'm always running out of this stuff anyway, so it kind of would make a certain degree of sense to me to. Just basically go ham on it. Uh, that one as well, I think. Or maybe we'll go all of this as well. Why not? It's not like we can't. Is it night time already? Looks like it may be going that way. Okay. Oh, hello. Scared the crap out of me. There you go. Alright, give me that back. Um, Alright, we need to sleep because we don't want to get eaten. Then we'll grab this basalt. That will allow us to make us some open blocks tanks which will give us some uh, initial pump targets. 
uh, which is why I'm carrying that around. And uh, yeah, life should be uh, grand. What are you? you you're right, light, aren't you? Um, yeah. So we we'll grab you, and then we'll grab that, and then we'll put that away, and we'll put that away, and that can go in there, and then we'll go and grab this. So I'll grab this back in a moment. All right. So we've got uh, a number of items. We're going to grab some other bits in a moment. But the first things first, we need to make four lots of tanks. Each one of these holds, I think it's 16 buckets, so that's like 30, 64 buckets worth of storage. Uh, this lot here, that, 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 and that can all go back. Uh, what we shall do now is we're going to go and borrow uh, some solar panel, because we can. Um, it's probably going to be slow, but, you know, we will work with what we have. Each one of those is 10 RF per ticket in it. So if I do all of those, well, that one, that will be fine. Um, and then the last thing we need is we need something to get out there with. Um, and to that end, we're going to need that. Because I've chopped down a Sequoia log and we should be able to make... A well, obviously we can make all of the usual bits and pieces. I'm just thinking, what we like in scaffold or carpenters? Actually, carpenters blocks would have been. Yeah, you know what? It really doesn't matter. We can make these all day. So we'll go with. We'll just go with blocks like that. That should do the trick. Out. So we can see if we line ourselves up about there. And then we can it's going to be ugly it is going to be ugly without a doubt and until we figure out the, the problem with this bloody printing press we uh we ain't getting respiration on a helmet anytime well we could get respiration on a helmet uh, we could go and put three more bottles into the um into the ender io enchanter with a whole load more experience and you know get one single thing of expert thing and i may do that um i may just sit there and, and sack that printing press out even though it works this is what annoys me it it bloody well works in my test world but doesn't work in this world and it doesn't matter how you create the book whether you you know it's it just refuses has it refuses to have anything to do with it it's infuriating with the capital infuriation um so yeah this is gonna come out here and uh, we're gonna grab out snag ourselves some oil that's the plan um that'll give us a bit more power gen because i think we're probably gonna need it with the grinder and stuff um we're gonna want some more power storage to be honest but let's just get out to here now, if I remember rightly, the, usually the best way of doing this is to is to just go around the base and don't get yourself in it, <laughs> because that will that will make you very sad very rapidly. You uh, sink like a brick in oil. Uh, it is not good, but we'll uh, we'll we'll just run around the edge here. A little bit like this, a little bit like that, a little bit there. Bang, bang, bang. And then probably want to go up. Oops. So we can get the... Hup, the pump right over the top here. Pop that down there and then we'll stick the pump right next to it and break that. And then maybe just do another stack of wood because we're going to want it anyway. Right, so armed with that, what shall we do next? Well, we need to expand this platform out a wee bit. 
we're going to want a little bit of working area. Uh, and we probably want to place... Do we want the tank on the top? Probably. Probably. And we'll just do that, I think. That should do the trick. Uh, now, the question is... That is not draining into that, so we're going to need to get you. Uh, don't throw that away. Uh, item. We haven't got the right conduit. Damn you. Okay, well, we've got that. We're almost there. We just need to probably, uh, well, we need to make this a little bit friendlier to get up to. Uh, uh, and we can, I don't know, take this out from underneath. I don't think we need all of that. Just because we'll have to do it later anyway. Uh, and then we can take, I don't know why I did this around the bottom. This was a waste. Look at that, it just vanishes to the depths. Never to be seen again. Anyway, yeah, let me... Um, Tidy up, let me go and get a um, power conduit and we'll put some power into this thing and hopefully we'll start getting some oil. Alright, and uh, yeah, we can do that. That's That works, right. Yeah, back in a minute. Alright, so, turns out that that entire section I just recorded, I didn't record. So, let's go back. <laughs> yeah, the um, this filled up very rapidly, and I, I basically had to go and make some more tankage, which I have done. Uh, this is almost full again. I mean, this is filling rapidly. And uh, I think the next thing we're going to be wanting to do is um, get an ender tank going, but at this current point in time, well, I'll rephrase that. At the point in time that I mentioned it earlier, we didn't have enough iron to make ender tanks. Uh, we're also going to need more blue steel because the uh, refinery requires blue steel gear, um, I think. And we may even, well, let's have a look. Hang on a second. Uh, we don't require more blue steel. And we are now getting rich limonite. So that is all good. Um, so next episode, I think we'll, we will get the contents of that over here. We'll get it refined and turned into um, stuff. We'll probably use an immersive engineering tank at a guess. That would be my, my preferred way of doing stuff. But, um, and then we're into probably combustion generator, combustion generators, maybe. I'm not entirely sure which of the um which of the generators to go with yeah um yeah but obviously fuel we can use it in any number of ways so on that note i think we're going to call this episode an episode and uh until next time thank you very much for watching guys and i will see you soon and bye for now